This is one case which I very much hesitate to get into because there is so much confusion and so much emotion and so much ego and so much animosity, uh, which is what I love. So let's get into it. This is the skin again, as you can see. Here's an epidermis. Here's a dermis. Here's some skin appendages here and here and here. Here's the denser collagen of the reticular dermis. Here's the looser collagen of the papillary dermis. Here's part of the sebaceous gland. Here's the stratum corneum. Here's the epidermis. <clears throat> the thing which I have been skirting around, which you have all seen already, is that you have a significant number of nevus cells, melanocytic cells, some of which are completely within the dermis and many of which are at the junction between the dermis and epidermis. If the primary focus of uh, melanocytic or nevus cell proliferation was at the junction between the dermis and epidermis, this would be called the junctional nevus. If the predominant place for nevus cells was in the dermis, this would be called intradermal. When you have both, it's called compound. This is a compound nevus. And notice I'm not really going too high up for high power yet, but the one thing that is a very, very serious concern when you get a lot of melanocytic proliferation is if you suspect that a lot of these manocyte, a lot of these melanocytes are going up into the epidermis, the concept that we called buckshotting, then you can be suspicious that perhaps this may, if it hasn't already, turn into a malignant melanoma. And because a malignant melanoma is really the only common skin disease that could kill you quickly, there have been a wide variety, a bunch of terms, a overwhelmingly wide number of classifications. But to make this whole mess very, very simple, I think that the word dysplastic nevus would be appropriate here because you definitely have a nevus. You could see it's compound because it's at the junction as well as within the dermis. And if you suspect that some of these melanocytes are starting to travel upward into epidermal layers, then you could be worried that perhaps this will become melanoma. So I can't think of a better word than dysplastic. This is a compound Clark's nevus, also known as a dysplastic nevus. Will this go into melanoma? Possibly. Uh, nobody can tell for sure, but with a lot of the uh, skin diseases like this, if there's any doubt or suspicion at all, no matter how many pathologists look at it, the best thing to do is to just take it out, do a relatively wide margin, and um, most of the patients will uh, survive, the vast majority will. Uh, most pathologists would not call this a overwhelmingly blatant malignant melanoma yet, because there's not enough atypia, and perhaps there's not enough of vertical growth. Uh, some may, but everybody would be concerned that this could be a melanoma. Dysplastic nevus, thank you very much.